Hey everybody, it's July 12th, uh, Sunday evening, and it's been a pretty busy weekend. I um, cleaned all of the windows around the house, inside and out, and it took basically a half a bottle of Windex, uh, but that uh, Karcher system really helped out. It made it a lot faster than it would have been if it was just by hand. So uh, yeah, I did all that, and uh, just a lot of other things I've done, but um, I've been uh, negligent about getting videos out, but uh, what I'll do today is show you what I'm going to do about a problem with my worm bin. And it's the problem is that it's being invaded by ants. So uh, I, I want to get all the ants out, and I researched online, and it looks like uh, a good solution is the one that I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm doing. So basically, um, what I have here, and I'll show you here, is I have some borax and I have two empty water bottles and I have these uh, food storage containers and what I'm going to basically do is, I'm and I have some sugar, just plain old cane sugar, what I'm going to do is take one spoonful of borax uh, four spoonfuls of sugar and put them in each one of these. This will be the dry one or you know one of them will be the dry which hopefully the queen will take or the ants will take back to the queen and then this will be a uh, more water in it to be a liquid solution of the borax and sugar for just you know to hopefully to kill a bunch of ants. These tubs right here will be used uh, for the legs of the worm bin and I'll put water in those and that'll basically be a moat to keep any future ants from getting in. But yeah, that's the process that I'm going to look to do here and I'll show you uh, I'll show you the worm bin and the ants shortly. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and fill up uh, one of them about this high because I'm going to then lay it on the side. This actually looks like it's good because see how it's not sure if you can see the consistency, but it's clumped together. There was some water already in here, so this looks good in that the borax is mixed with the sugar and the ants should take this part back to the queen. So let me go ahead and do that, and then uh, I need to put a little hole in this. This I'll fill with more water. So I'll just put a hole. Um, for the ants to be able to enter. Let me get scissors. Yeah, so I'll just get some scissors here and open this up. Let's 
So they're little ants, so they should be able to get into, get into that and take it to their queen. That's that, and then I'll save that for later. And then I'll fill this with water and do the same thing. Put a hole in here so that they, the ants that go in here will never come out, hopefully. Okay, I filled it to about that depth with water and make sure I mix this all up really nice. Um, I'm going to have to have it at an angle so that the water doesn't come out. And then when I get up to the worm bin, I'm going to go ahead and use the scissors to poke a hole so that the ants will come into this sugar water and borax and immediately die, hopefully. So, yep, here's the part with the queen. Whoops. <laughs> yep, that's holes there. So, yep. Let's see how this works. Okay, I thought might as well show you uh, the 2020 summer fly trap. This is the biting fly trap. You can see two videos related to that. And it's been very productive. <laughs> you see all those flies in there? So it is doing a fine job in 2020, the summer of 2020, with the trap and toss at the very top. So I have a ball that w I used to have a Another ball there that kind of deflated. The last two years I had one that I painted flat black and it, you know had to replace it with a new ball from Walmart. Uh, it's about two dollars ball and I kept, I didn't spray paint this. I kept it red and it's shiny and just to see if it attracts more flies and it looks like it's the same amount as last year and the year before so I don't think, oh, there's a fly in there. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, right there. See him flying around? Anyway, um, so anyway, I think the ball, color of the ball really doesn't matter as long as it is a ball and uh, it looks like a cow belly or a horse back. Anyway, thought you'd be interested. Okay, now let's go up to the worm bin. Okay, I'll just show you some of the ants that I'm contending with here. Hopefully you can see those ants there. A bunch of them on that cardboard. This is the worm bin. Most of that's coconut coir. Let me see if I can Yeah, there's a worm. Yep, the worms are doing well in there. It's just that I need to get these stupid ants out. Just all over. See them? All right, so let me go ahead and set it up. Okay, this one is the dry borax and sugar. The hole is right here. And I'm just gonna place this right in there, right there. Hopefully they take that to the queen. Looks like ants are already going after it. Uh, let me put that on there. And then the one with the liquid in it. I'll go ahead and make a cut. So 
they can get in there. Okay, so made a little hole right here. And I'll place that right here at an angle so that they'll be able to get in there and hopefully it will kill them. So, yeah, it looks like they're hopefully going to get in there. All right. Here's another view of the bottles. And then you can see lots of ants. I just don't, I know, I know this is a compost bin, but I just don't like this many ants in it. It just doesn't make me feel right about it. I don't want them to harm the worms. So let's see what they do. Now, uh, the, the last part is to put these little plastic tubs underneath each one of the four legs and fill it with water. So that's what I'm doing next. Stand by. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with water, each one. Okay. All right, so uh, it's getting to be later in the evening. Let me, there you go. Um, so I thought it might be also uh, interesting to see the, the state of our garden. That garden has fed us from April until July now. And it's still producing fruit, uh, you know, the tomatoes. Uh, we haven't gotten a tomato yet, but they're very prolific. We'll show you those. And we've had lots of squash already. We've been cooking squash up, but the greens are all spent. They've all bolted. And in fact, I've got uh, spinach seeds in the garage that I'll plant here uh, in later July so that I can have some for, you know, in September, October timeframe. But yeah, we've been really successful with the salads. I mean, it just it's been a really rewarding gardening year. So anyway, I think that does it for the um, the worm bin. We have we'll see how it goes. See if the uh, the ants get tamed, <laughs> and uh, I'll keep you updated for sure. All right. Let's go take a look at the garden.
All right. You can see the the beans are spent. We got a, you know, we got a respectable amount of beans. But uh, these are all going to be seeds, the ones that are dried out, and we'll we'll plant some more. Got a big weed here. Yeah, and uh, the, the I'm sorry, the those are the peas. These were Lincoln peas on this side, and then we had sugar snap on this side. And I'll get any of those uh, uh, old dried beans out of there. These were um, the bush beans. Still got some bush beans. I gotta get out of there. I might just I might just keep those for seeds. Anything that's remaining with the beans and peas. Now um, this is Swiss chard. Just have a few more left. We could still get a couple salads out of that um, and then the um, uh, mustard greens these have bolted completely you can see they've seeded out or they're they're flowered out and they're gonna produce seeds and I'll see if I can harvest some seeds from there the kale is eat up, is pretty much eat up with the uh, bugs a little bit and then of course the uh, the collards are also eat up, so I'm going to go ahead and pull all that out. Um, but the salad, the Simpson lettuce, there's a couple more left that I could get. And some of them have bolted. That one over there has bolted pretty well, and I've got a big one over there that's bolted. Um, and I'm going to harvest those seeds for sure, because I like Simpson lettuce. And I've taken out um, the rest of these that were in here. This is some onions. There's still some onions coming up. The, the um, carrots are still, there's a few carrots to take out. And then you can see that uh, the radishes have seed pods, really nice seed pods, and I'll use those as well. So lots of radish seeds coming. Now, with the uh, cucumbers, and the squash, uh, they're still producing. There's a big cucumber right there. There's another one on the on the vine. So they're doing really well. There's a squash down there. Ooh, can you see it? There it is, it's peeking through. And then we have tomatoes. These are the beefsteak tomatoes. So got some tomatoes coming. We've had some hookworms, or yeah, not hookworms, hornworms. We have had some that I've picked off, so I'm really looking close to see if we have any, and I'll do another spot check. And then these containers aren't doing that great, and I think it's because they are in containers. It's hard to keep them uh, watered. I, I water them every time I come up here, but they're just not doing as well. Yeah, so... Still doing, still doing well. I've learned a lot in my first garden here that we're going to apply not only to the succession, which is going to be July through the end of the season, but for next year. We're, we've learned a lot. So, all right. Um, all right, the folks, um, we'll, we'll continue to keep you updated on our gardening. It's certainly not over. There's still, you know, a lot to do. Um, I have a, a couple other projects. I need to fix the driveway. The driveway, we've had a lot of rain. Uh, rain to the point where it's, you know, just washed away a lot of the gravel. Uh, so I need to fix that. So I'll take you along on that as well. So, yep, I think this is a good update and uh, look forward to uh, look forward to eating the rest of the bounty of this garden. Look at that cucumber. <laughs> All right. Thanks everyone. Homestead Pilgrim out.